organized crime is a major threat to the internal security of the European Union and to the safety of our citizens. And it requires a common European response. More than 70% of criminal networks are active in more than three European countries and they're becoming increasingly more violent. According to Europol, organized crime within the EU has never posed such a major threat to citizens and our societies as it does today. We need to disrupt the business models of criminal networks and ensure that crime never pays. Follow the money in order to freeze and confiscate assets and target criminal leadership. For the EPP, the security of European citizens and the fight against organized crime is an absolute priority. Europe needs to show that we can deliver in real terms. And this is why last year we proposed 50 concrete measures to tackle crime and we will continue to put this high on Europe's agenda. And we are happy to find in the Swedish presidency a like-minded and a constructive partner in our mission to keep Europe safe. And we look forward to cooperate on our shared priorities. Strengthening the role of agencies like Europol and Eurojust, better coordination of criminal investigations and prosecutions, implementation of the interoperability framework, further improving existing crucial legislation like the Prune framework, advanced passenger information, making e-evidence work in practice. We have to make use of all available instruments in order to fight crime, and we cannot expect law enforcement authorities to do this alone. Local authorities, tax authorities, labor inspectorates can all play a major role in addressing certain challenges, but they face huge obstacles in cross-border cooperation. We have worked very hard to remove those cross-border obstacles for police and judicial cooperation. We need to do the same for the administrative approach to organized crime by denying criminals the use of the legal administrative infrastructure. More intense monitoring, better screening, and proper cross-border exchange of administrative information to complement police cooperation and strengthen the law enforcement system should also be a European priority. Borders often still create obstacles for authorities, while criminals use them to their advantage. This needs to end right now.